Friends, what is volcanicity or volcanicity? What is volcanicity? See, volcano is something that you see on the surface. Oh, this is a volcano. Oh, volcano is coming. Surface. But volcanicity is the entire process. Inside the earth, what is happening? How magma is formed? How magma is coming up? How some, some magma came up? Some, but some magma is trapped in the earth only. After coming up, how it is spreading? What is the effect? How it is cooling? What is the type of magma? What is the type of rock? What are the different types of gases? Entire process is called as volcanicity. Volcanicity is a volcanicity is both what is happening inside the earth. Volcanicity is both what is happening inside the earth as well as what is happening outside the earth. Both exogenic or exogenetic, both are same only. Endogenic, genetic, both are same. Okay. Now, so let us discuss about the this next topic, volcanicity. Okay. Friends, there are many reasons why inside the earth magma is formed. Many reasons are there. For example, this earth. Somewhere here, magma may be formed. Magma may be formed because of radioactive disintegration. I told you this. Radioactive disintegration occurring inside the earth, somewhere inside the earth, because of which tem high temperature, high heat, rocks will melt. Magma is formed. One thing. Second thing I told you in my, in my interior of earth class, I told you when the pressure is released, when the pressure is released, the melting point of the rocks will reduce, reduce. Normally, when the pressure is there, rock melts at 300 degrees. When pressure released, you know, the melting point is 200 degrees only. So, it will melt. It will melt. So, fall in the pressure. Fall in the pressure is another reason. Another reason for uh, formation of uh, magma. Another reason is movement of the plates. Movement of the plates. As in the convergent plate, as one plate is coming down, coming down because of high pressure, it will melt. Otherwise, when plates are moving away, pressure is reduced. So it will melt. So plate movement is also one reason. Plate movement. Okay. However, these are the various reasons for the creation of magma inside the earth. But how does that magma come out of the earth? Generally, most of the magma cannot come out of the earth. It is inside the earth only. Only in few places, under few circumstances, under few conditions, magma will come out. Let us see what are the conditions. Okay. One condition is, one condition is, one condition is, Sometimes the rocks are weak. Rocks are weak. Weak rocks. When, because of magma heat pressure, the rocks break. Magma comes out because of weak rocks. Second reason is divergent. presence. Yeah, divergence also will write. Yeah, divergent is also correct. Because of divergence in the plates, magma will come up. Sometimes because of water, you know why friends? Actually friends, magma is a liquid. It cannot have so much pressure. But imagine gas is there, gas. Gases will have so much of pressure. You take a vessel with hot liquid, no pressure. No pressure on that uh, vessel. Take a vessel with a lot of gas. Take cooker, pressure cooker, lot of water vapor. You know water vapor, lot of water vapor because then what happens? The vessel will come, that's all. Okay? Anyhow, in the earth also, if lot of hot gas is there, it will pressurize the rocks, break the rocks, create the path for the magma. That is why among all the gases, water, water vapor is the most powerful gas. Whenever water vapor goes into the earth, do you know sometimes the, the rain water, water in the dam will percolate. It will go very deep. After going to some depth, it will start converting into vapor under heat. That that is man-made. 
it is said that sometimes uh, man made earthquakes anyhow keep it aside we'll discuss later about the earthquakes so the water seeping into the earth converts into water vapor that water vapor and other gases of magma other gases they actually put lot of pressure friends the gas cooker no you close the remove the vessel close it with a plug the cooker will break it will blast because the vapor has so much of pressure without vapor it will not blast similarly in the earth also gases are the reason water vapor not water water vapor or gases are the reason for the, so these are the three reasons for the coming out these are reasons for the formation of magma reasons for coming out of magma okay You tell me, Prithika, you tell me, have you seen volcanic mountains in the YouTube, not outside? Tell me any mountain that you, have, that you know, any place, any areas where you have seen, in India. In India, do you know any volcanic mountains in India? Very good, Andaman, correct. Andaman, Nicobars, the islands are actually volcanic mountains only in India, okay, very good. Have you heard in the news in the last five years any major volcano in the world, anywhere in the world? Kilimanjaro. Hmm. Congo. Stromboli occurs regularly. Actually, Stromboli is called as lighthouse of Mediterranean. If you take the Africa, Europe, this is the Mediterranean Sea. In Mediterranean Sea, this island called as Lipari Island. Lipari. In Lipari Island, there is a volcano called Stromboli. The name is Stromboli Volcano. Stromboli. Friends, what is it? Yes, but there, it's dormant. It's volcanic mountains only, but now they are not there. They are extinct. Now they are not active. Once upon time, they fall because of volcano. Okay? Friends, see, actually, Stromboli volcano, I'm talking about active volcano. What is said is uh, Andaman Nicobar, even now it is dormant. It may come anytime. Stromboli volcano is an active volcano. I'll tell you about active later on. I'll come to that. Stromboli, the volcano occurs continuously. Gas will come sometimes. Magma will come sometimes, vapor comes, continuous occurs. That's what is called lighthouse. Lighthouse means continuously. Lighthouse means what? For example, ships, ships, ships want to go in direction. Ships want to come to Vizag. In the Vizag, big lighthouse will be there. Looking lighthouse, ships will come to the Vizag. In the night time, how will you come to any port? Lighthouse only now. Like that, storm bowl itself is a lighthouse. That is always it is hot. Always fire will be there. Storm bowl, okay? Anyhow, let us now discuss about types of volcanoes types okay <coughs> friends see if you want to look into the type of eruption based on the type of eruption how it is coming out there are two types of eruptions one is through a vent through a central opening through a central opening other thing is through a crack through a crack that means see this is earth okay otherwise this is a surface friend surface this is surface under the surface magma is there magma wants to come out now there is a small vent here vent from that vent if from that vent if the magma has to come out definitely it will be forceful it will come out with high force but imagine on the same surface a long crack is there and a magma has to come out this long crack it no to be forceful it can come so it can come easy come out easily okay this is called fissure type fissure type eruption fissure also called as quiet it's very quiet it does not make much noise it, it is not very um, it does not come up with a great speed it, it flows very smoothly Quite eruption, quite. Where this is, this is explosive eruption, explosive. Because the vent is small and magma cannot come out so easily through that. So based on the eruption, you can call quite eruption, explosive eruption. But some people, some people actually uh, name the volcanoes based on their periodicity. For example, Stromboli, Stromboli is there, Stromboli volcano. Stromboli volcano is uh, continuously, it's active volcano. It is active. Active means occurs regularly. Regular eruption occurs, regular eruption. 
then dormant volcano dormant means it was active some time back but now it, now it is not occurring i mean from last several is not occurring dormant extinct completely gone now it is no more there the place where volcano is there is not even hot full water is the lake formed a big lake formed on that extinct is not there dormant means it may occur but not active active means occurring frequently andaman nicobar are dormant they may occur some sometime in future for example friend one volcano i think it's a krakatoa volcano or pili volcano don't remember pili volcano i think mount pili uh, it occurred in almost 80 ad in the first century again occurred in 1670 ad dates are not correct but around so almost for 1000 centuries it's not there so what people will think dormant over but again it occurred when it, when it occurred again everybody died only two people survived which movie is it there is a movie on that no pompey pompey right pompey is a movie actually pompey is a place in carib i think caribbean sea the mall ke- the volcano's name is mount pili pili in volcano mount pili mount pili mount pili is a volcanic mountain it occurred in uh, 78 ad i think or 80 ad during the time ancient india in mean, ancient world not india ancient world during the time when the volcano came out the city's name is uh, saint pieri some city is there the entire city wiped off nobody is there all two people survived who are the two people in the movie they show them as lovers but i think they are not lovers one small boy one grandmother survived maybe you don't know but only bit lovers were interesting we can see the movie see so this is the another way of uh, uh, you know typifying the volcanoes now let us try to understand what are the different types of material that comes out with the volcano material okay see this is the earth from here here magma is there here vent is there vent now there is a pipe there is a pipe connecting the magma chamber this is called magma chamber this place where magma is there pipe is created because of fracture because of gas rocks are moved away or rocks are broken and a channel is created channel through that channel what happens you only through the channel what happens that's all magma comes out erupts like a coal like you see it becomes a mountain actually after it comes out from here no it will spread it will come out as it becomes like a mountain solidifies if it is a thick magma viscous magma if it is a light magma mountain will not form it will just flow away it will just it will just flow away it flow away and like this it forms like a plateau if it is a uh, less viscous magma which can flow smoothly it will come out form a plateau like deccan plateau india's deccan plateau if it is a viscous magma it will it will be thrown up it will fall down and so it will pile up like a pile like a mountain okay now this pipe will be there till here next time again volcano comes no this will break it will blast break again new material will come out new material okay sometimes this is not sufficient lot of magma has come out then the entire mountain will break and you know what will form in the place of a mountain a large depression forms large depression large depression actually mountain was there but the magma is so forceful it has thrown open the entire mountain a large depression is formed the depression is called as caldera caldera is a large depression formed because of throwing opening or breaking of the mountain due to high pressure from the magma chamber okay from this cone also this is a cone actually is a cone this is called volcanic cone this volcanic cone also there are different names for example composite cone composite cone parasite cone or some people call it as or ash cone ash cone ash cone is also called as cinder cone it depends upon type of material for example parasite cone means what you know in the volcanic mountain there is not a single vent multiple vents 
so volcano the magma comes from multiple places it's called parasite cone parasite composite cone means what you know first mountain formed with one kind of material then another kind of material is added to it then another kind of metal added to it means each time the magma is coming different metal is coming first time it came out like this second time again covered again covered again covered called as composite cone actually cinder cone is a is formed from soft material is very small cone small cone just this much one cinder cone actually friend this is this is type of the cone but actually based on the material also you can tell acidic cone basic cone acidic magma acidic magma is highly acidic magma is highly so it will not flow so the cone is very steep like this see whereas basic magma basic magma is less viscous so the cone will be see like this see this cone less viscous so it flows so this basic cone has is uh, less slope less slope uh, at acid cone has more slope more slope okay like that you can divide the cones also cones also you can name but leaving the cones aside depression is called caldera leaving it aside leave it aside the volcano that comes out now it can either see volcano that is coming out if it is highly viscous sorry it is if it is okay highly viscous medium moderate moderate viscous low viscous highly viscous will create volcanic cones will create volcanic medium viscous will call plateaus causes plateaus less viscous will call plain normal plain because it will flow like water just the thick thin sheet this much sheet throughout the earth not earth throughout that place plain plateau means it rise up little thicker mountain is even thicker okay like that mountain plateau plain all are formed volcano can uh, magma can create a mountain if it is highly viscous plateau if it is moderate viscous uh, plain if it is low viscous who put the ac it's not in the cooling mode huh not in the cooling mode first of all now it came cooling mode that's why it's very hot actually by this time it should become very cool why it's so hot that's what i'm thinking hmm. okay so friend now see actually the point of discussion is what are the types of material that comes out of volcano Types of material come from volcano. See, magma is very hot, so it, it has got lot of gases. Also, it is a liquid molten rock. However, friend, when it is coming out, no, here, here from the surroundings, some rocks will fall inside that. No, when there is a channel, is earth, earth full of rocks. Some rocks also fall in that. When rocks fall in that. the rocks will not melt they are rocks only because it does not get much time when the magma is coming up let us say one rock fell in it also come up rock also comes up and some rocks will be almost molten into some small pieces and sometimes is completely burnt into ashes so it's a mixture of everything so the volcano which coming up inside is called magma outside is called as lava when it comes out it can be gaseous gases means it can be water vapor nitrogen gas nitrogen gas carbon dioxide carbon monoxide both will be there nitrous oxide will be there sulfur oxide will be there magnesium several gas will be there friend several types of gas hydrogen sulfide will be there hydrogen sulfide several gas will come out water vapor is the most prominent one which gives more pressure then coming to the liquid state gaseous state all gas will be there liquid state magma one that's all magma which magma either acidic magma or this one but magma will be there friends ma actually this magma can be also divided into felsic and mafic felsic and mafic 
what is felsic what is mafic felsic means more hd content mafic means basic that's all basic okay which you know to remember also it will not be asked only this is enough is it basic enough okay now now coming to the solids solids also come out large rock sometimes a large rock may fall inside a rock of size 100 kilometers 100 km large rock may fall it may also come up if it is very forceful volcano entire rock will be thrown up to almost one kilometer high just imagine large rock thrown thrown up okay so sometimes rock is very large small things are called lapillis lapillis are some 10 centimeters 20 centimeters small rocks and even finer material called dust or ash dust or dust or ash so different types of uh, uh, so my volcano has both all gases liquid everything will be there but we generally focus on this one because it is the most 90 percent that one only we don't uh, most think about these things okay but it has everything actually these are called as pyroclastic material pyro means fire hot fire pyroclastic material pyroclastic hot material hot rocks lapillis dust ash will come pyroclastic these are all actually these are fragments of rock rock is fragmented fragments of rock okay this is a material now friends just we are discussing that a volcano will create exogenetic landforms a volcano what are the various landforms created by volcano Till now, we have discussed only exogenetic landforms. Exogenetic means what? Outside the earth. If this is earth. Out, what are the landforms? One is cones. Cones means nothing but hills, mountains. Second thing is plateaus. Third is plains. Even depressions, caldera. Depressions are also formed. Depressions. Caldera. Most of the calderas are now filled with water because the volcano is not active, you know. So these are the landforms created by the volcano where outside inside the earth. Outside. outside. That's what we call exogenetic. But volcanoes create landforms inside the earth also because you cannot think all magma comes out. Some magma cannot come out. It will come to some height, it will stay there only. So we call it as for it as endo. For example, if this is the surface of the earth this is a magma chamber magma chamber magma wants to come up some magma after coming to some distance there will be one uh, crack here that magma will go into the crack see it goes into it and it will solidify why it will solidify see here temperature is very high that's why liquid but after coming here temperature will be less no so it will solidify some magma after coming up it will just go into one chamber it will just be there some magma after coming up will just go it'll stay here some magma after coming up from here will go into stay like this some magma you are thinking that i am drawing some nonsense no okay so like that these are the landforms inside the earth so this is called magma chamber also called as batholith it is called batholith if it is solidified, if it is solidified into a single large rock, batholith. This is called dike. Dike is the magma becoming rock inside the earth and vertically. Dike is vertical. If it is horizontal, it is called sill. Sill means horizontally solidify, solidification of magma, horizontal sill. This is called lacolith. Upper, upper curve, lacolith. If it is lower, curve is called as low polith. Low polith is lower one. Lacolith is upper one. But if it is a combination of like this, like a smoke, it is called facolith. So these are different names. So these are the all are nothing but magma only. Magma while coming out went into something, solidified there, became a rock there. You can find these things when you dig the earth. You stand here, 
you take a something drilling machine, dig into the earth. When you dig into the earth, you find all these things. Okay? Sometimes on the earth, volcano will not be there. Inside these things will be there, which means that in future, sometime, what will come? Volcano will come. Volcano is trying to come out. Magma is trying to come out, but unable to come out. But definitely, it is very active. See, almost very close to earth. It will come out in future. So, wherever you find these things in the earth, you should be careful that sometime later, volcano is going to come. Okay? So, these are the landforms. Friends, I forgot to tell you one very interesting thing. Have you gone to, miss, in the YouTube, have you gone to Yellowstone National Park in USA? Very famous national park, Yellowstone National Park. Hey, which movie? 2012 is a movie name, right? Movie came in which year? Okay. Have you gone to I have gone recently to the place, I forgot the name. It is near Manali, near Shimla. Manikaran, Manikaran. Have you gone to Manikaran? Okay, we'll discuss later about that. See now, friends, Yellowstone National Park is in USA. Why it sounds because you know the movie is wrong, actually, that never happened. Just a fiction. Actually, what happens is in the park, at some places, every one hour or every two suddenly water will come hot water comes and stops again after one hour again as if somebody has kept a timer exactly one hour why because you know inside that magma somewhere magma is there and lot of water is there this water is getting heated because of magma now see though it is heated to come out it requires pressure so, after heating it to some say some 500 degrees centigrade, suddenly it gets the pressure, it comes out. When it comes out, again the temperature will reduce, pressure will reduce. Then again it takes some time, again pressure builds up, again it comes. Which means that sometime in future definitely the entire magma will come out. In that movie 2012, what they have shown is, people will go to Yellowstone National Park, actually these are called geysers, they are called Actually, see, instead of water, only vapor is coming, only gas is coming. It's called as, it's called as fumaroles, fumaroles. No big difference, but geysers means water will come, fumaroles means uh, yes. only gas will come, but that also comes frequently. That means magma is not coming, rocks are not coming, only gas is coming. That means inside there, somewhere, somewhere magma is there very deep, it wants to come out, unable to come out but because of the pressure the nearby water is becoming steam and coming out in that movie yellow special park many visitors will be there they'll be standing enjoying the geyser suddenly from the geyser lava is start coming out lava coming out no and then they start running but they cannot run far because lava is faster than anybody so lava flows very fast see volcano if we have to study about the effects of volcano friend volcano has very huge effects i mean if a volcano comes at a place, you know, if it's a large volcano, it throws out so much of dust that it covers almost most of the earth. Small ash will just ash will be there, you know. Coming out of volcano, if this is the earth, if volcano is coming here, the ash will be see almost this much ash will come. The ash will be so thick that sunlight also cannot come. It will become dark. So it will change the radiation of the earth. The sun radiation will change completely. The insulation of earth during volcano, insulation of earth will change. So it will completely change the radiation balance. So don't underestimate a volcano. A large volcano can do anything. Okay? In that movie, what happens? You know, in that movie actually, first lava comes from here. Slow it comes from here. Slow it comes from here. Slow it comes from the places where gears are not there also. Means magma became active, it's coming everywhere. From throughout the world starts coming, throughout the world in that movie, 2012. So entire world will die. Only two will be alive or everybody dies. Some people 
with the layer or something. Because maybe in the entire earth, at some place, volcano did not come. They go there, they stay there. Okay? It's an interesting movie. Okay, anyhow. So, geysers, fumaroles, these are nothing but, these are one type of volcano, maybe we can say, or maybe we cannot say that. Because there, lava, magma is not there, pyroclast material is not there, only water vapor, gases are there. Okay? But it is a very interesting uh, observation. Anyhow, the effects of volcano, radiation balance and pollution suddenly causes huge pollution, friend. Huge pollution. Radiation balance means the temperature of the earth will change. The entire temperature will change if sunlight is reduced. Also, friends, it wipes out the life. Where it comes, you know, in the surrounding area, it completely wipes out the entire life. Many things will come to extinct. For example, let us say in that area, one unique animal is there, unique bird is there. Human beings are not unique, it will be everywhere. But some animals, birds will be unique in some places. For example, Nicobar pigeon. You can find old Nicobar. You cannot find other places. Like that. Such kind of things will be extinct. The volcano comes. So, wipes out the life. And some normal nonsense you can write. Loss of life, loss of property, loss of life and property. Friend, do you know volcanoes create earthquakes also? Volcanoes create earthquakes. Because volcano is so forceful, it creates earthquakes. Earthquakes will come. There is also an effect. So, like that you can write effects of the volcano. Okay? Globally on the earth, what are the places where volcanoes occur? For this point only, I discussed the plate tectonic theory. For this point only. The point is, globally, what are the places where earthquake occurs? At the plate margins only, same thing. For example, Where is the world map, friend? World map. Here, see. These are the places where volcanoes occur. Volcanic mountains, mid Atlantic ridge. And this is the place where volcanoes occur. Because high pressure. Even Himalayas, volcanoes occur. Because high pressure inside the earth. But sometimes, volcano. See, till now I am discussing only about the plate margin. But sometimes, Intraplate volcano. What is interplate? Intraplate. Interplate means between the plates. Intraplate means inside the plate. The inside the plate is we call it as hot spots. So there are many places where volcanoes occur inside the plate also. Example India. Inside India. Volcanoes occur? No. Deccan Plateau. Deccan Plateau. Inside Africa here. Like that, there are some places where intraplate volcanoes occur, but most of the volcanoes are found in the Pacific Rim. Friend, where, see, what is this one? Friend, this is Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim means around the Pacific Ocean. Rim, Rim. Pacific Rim. Do you know what we call Pacific Rim as? Anybody knows? We call it as? Ring of Fire. Yes. Pacific Ring of Fire. Because here, for example, here, the Pacific Ocean moves so fast. And the Pacific Ocean is so heavy. Full of water, no? I mean, large, heavy plate. Heavy plate, no? It goes down very quickly, very easily. Creating lot of volcanoes, lot of earthquakes. That's a fire. Volcano, fire means volcano. Pacific ring of fire. Also called as circum-Pacific belt of fire. Also called as circum- circum-Pacific means what? Circumference. Pacific Ocean circumference. Along the South America, North America, Japan. That's why Japan has got a lot of earthquakes. Indonesia. See friend here. Indonesia, Indonesia. Indonesia, Pacific Ocean, you know. Do you know Indonesia has got some of the highest volcanoes in the world? Indonesia volcanoes. Krakatawa volcano, Krakatawa volcano. Many volcanoes are there. When you, don't, when you do not know all the names, what do you have to say? Many volcanoes are there. So, Krakatawa volcano, many volcanoes. Sunda volcano, Java volcano. Means volcano occur in Java, in Sumatra. Okay, so why is so many volcanoes occur in Indonesia? Because it is circumpacific belt, place where the land, the Asian plate is colliding with the Pacific plate. Pacific belt is so heavy, it goes so deep, subduction is very heavy, Pacific plate, okay. So, Pacific plate means around Japan, Indonesia, 
North America, South America, all Pacific Ridge. This one. Circumpacific belt, belt of fire. Circumpacific ring of fire. Ring of, okay? That's a very important point you should note down. But I think I have finished the volcanoes topic. Yeah, volcanoes, nothing more to discuss, that's all, volcanoes. <coughs> but actually, if you want, this is not required, but I'm telling you for other, other reasons. Some people, even the central eruption type, explosive type, explosive type also, again, they'll divide based on how much explosion. It is a slow explosion, more explosion, high explosion, moderate, based on that also they divide. For example, see. Hey. <coughs> in the explosive volcanoes, explosive volcanoes, central eruption type volcanoes, again we can divide them into based on the intensity of eruption, based on the intensity, yes, central explosion type. Anybody? <coughs> Yes, it is there in Hawaii. Why you call Hawaii? Because in the Hawaiian island, Hawaii belongs to which country? USA. Yes, sir. In Hawaiian island, one kind of volcano occurs. It is center explosion only, but it is not so much explosive. It's quite, though it's explosive, very low explosive. It occurs not only Hawaii, friend, it occurs throughout the world, but we call it Hawaii. For example, like this, okay? See. The name came after Hawaii and all that's all. Anywhere in the world, if the volcano is eruption type, but very quiet, we call Hawaii volcano. Does not mean Hawaii only. <coughs> then, actually I got an example in mind, but it's a bad example, I'm going to tell you, okay? Then, Strombolian type. Actually friends, Strombolian, I told you, you know, Stromboli is in Mediterranean Sea, Lipari Island. That is moderately explosive. So, in the world, anywhere moderately exposed occurs, you call as Stromboli. But the name came from? Name came from? Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Name came from. Okay, Stromboli volcano. <coughs> then, the actual name volcano, volcanic type. From this only, we call it volcano, volcano all the time. Volcano came from you only. Vulcanian. Actually, this is a place in uh, Mediterranean Sea only. <coughs> this is also Mediterranean Sea. Same island. Which island? Same island. <coughs> this is uh, intensive. More intensive call it as Pelu Pelian, Vesuvian, but not required. See, Pelian, even more Vesuvian. But okay, Pelian, Vesuvian, everything is more and more and more intensive. So based on the intensity, you can name them.